hi guys so welcome back to another beautiful video and uh guys um i'm going to walk you through my evening from the time i leave uh, i leave work so i start filming uh, along the way uh, till the time i get home and maybe go to sleep so welcome guys and i hope you love the video and i'm sorry i'm doing the introduction in the morning so i've not even washed my face i look kind of too dry yeah apologies for that i couldn't do it the night before yeah my son uh, got a bit too clingy somewhere along the way so let's get into the video guys and uh, kindly remember to hit the subscribe button if you're yet to please kindly hit the subscribe button please show this girl some love also give the video a thumbs up and uh, also leave a comment yep since you're already all here since you're all here why don't you tell me how it feels Tell me how it feels To be judging like a mother Are you feeling high and mighty? Yeah Don't touch me, no, don't touch me You trying to save me, but I got me Yeah, I don't need no intervention And guys, I just got home. I've not even changed, guys. This is the hood I had at work. It was really chilly today, uh, the place I was. So, yeah, I had to uh, stay with this hoodie like the whole of the afternoon. So, I'm here to remove it because I found my son sleeping. I just decided to tiptoe into the bedroom because I didn't want him to see me. The moment he sees me, he'll want to breastfeed straight away. And then, the issue I have is, guys, I'm sorry to say this. My hubby doesn't make the bed. I do leave him sleeping, so yeah, he just wakes up and goes. <laughs> I've gotten used to it, so when I come in, that's the first thing I do in the evening. I just uh, make sure the bedroom is in place, because if I don't make my bed, guys, I never get the urge to sleep. I just feel uncomfortable the whole night in the room. Yeah, so I first of all just decide to uh, clear this place, and ensure uh, everything is all neat, and then... Uh, now we can get into doing other things like uh, taking a bath and stuff. Yes. And just as I was doing this, guys, I thought I was hiding. Kumbe, my son had heard me. He was sleeping in the couch in the living room. And then he just walked peacefully into the room. Yes. And I had to stop that over there because they are a bit of clothes that I, I was also organizing from the basket. And also the ones that were in bed. I had to stop that activity. And just go straight away into breastfeeding him. So when I come in, I do prefer maybe taking a bath first uh, before I breastfeed my baby and also uh, probably changing my clothes. Yeah, most of the time. But if I'm not able to, what I do, I just wipe my breast with a warm cloth. Yeah, I do think like it's work. It works. Uh, yes, then now we just go ahead to breastfeed him. So let's do this, guys, and I'll show you what next. Since you're already all here Since you're all here Why don't you tell me how it feels Tell me how it feels To be judging like a mother Are you And guys, truly motherhood can change your life So most of the time what I do when I'm in the house Like 80% of my time I spend with my son So of course after breastfeeding him I was... Um, I went to sit in the sitting room just a little bit to have some time with him. Then you were watching the cartoons, the Cocomelon. Yeah, that's what you could see over there. And then, guys, I've been having very, very weird cravings of late. I don't know what is going on, but Lord help me. I just know I'm okay. So I just felt like eating these potatoes without uh, being fried, just the salted ones. So I'm just peeling them. Then I'm going to go straight into boiling with just a little bit of salt and uh, 
Probably I'll just uh, cut in spring onions or not. Yeah, then that's all. I will serve it and eat it. I've loved it, loved it, loved it of late. I eat it a lot, uh, this kind of uh, potato. So let's go ahead and uh, uh, finish up with the rinsing, then we cook. And guys, as usual, I didn't have water. I'm so tired of this house, I don't know what to do. It's just become too much. I don't know, I think it's a water rationing thing because this is beyond normal. Never stayed in a house that has had uh, issues with water this much. Yeah, so again, I had to rinse from my jug. And I do hate it because I do feel like my things don't come out clean when you're not washing under running water. But all the same, we have to work with it for now. So these are my potatoes. I put them in my cooking pot. Yes, I've just put in salt and a bit of water because I don't want them to be... Uh, too watery yeah so i'll boil them but leave them dry 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 maybe with a bit of just soup kidogo kabisa yeah so i'll go ahead and cover then uh, we let it cook for a while before we uh, uh eat it since you're already all here since you're all here why don't you tell me how it feels tell me how it feels since you're already all here Since you're all here Why don't you tell me how it feels Tell me how it feels To be judging like a mother And guys, I'm done with eating the potatoes. In fact, my son ate most of it. He loved it a lot. I don't know why. I didn't think he'll, he'll eat it. Uh, because I was making it preferably uh, specifically for me. Anyway, so we'll go ahead to what we do next, guys. I wash my son in the evening. Yeah, when I was home on maternity leave, I would wash my son twice, very early in the morning when he wakes up. Not really very early, but probably around 9 a.m., 10-ish. Yeah, and also in the evening before he goes to sleep. But nowadays, since I resumed work, I only wash my son in the evening. Yeah, before uh, he goes to bed. So after eating dinner or maybe before. Usually depends, but I prefer washing him last after eating so that he stays I uh, neat all night and not so much sweaty because he doesn't, doesn't sleep well when he's too sweaty. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. And before we do that, uh, I was just playing a little bit with him, just bonding here and there. And he also wanted again to breastfeed. Guys, my son can breastfeed for like ever. He likes breastfeeding a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. I don't know how I'm going to get him off it, but uh, for now, I'll just let him enjoy. So he's breastfeeding a little bit before we start to uh, take a bath. It's midnight, I'm outside, your car's warm, did you just get home? I can't drive, I won't cry, who's inside? I feel so alone, alone. Only two percent on my phone. Phone, wake your ass up and come answer the door. Door, you don't. And just like that, guys, my baby is all clean and uh, bathed already. So he'll just wait for his food before he I uh, can eat and sleep now. Yes, and like I said, guys, before he loves breastfeeding, and that is what he's doing again. Guys, if you know hacks on how to get him off the breastfeeding thing, just let me know in the comment section. I've not been good at it because I've thought about it severally, but then I do feel bad again for him. Because when he wants to breastfeed, he gets really aggressive. He started, he starts scratching my chest. I feel so uncomfortable. I feel bad for him. Then I start breastfeeding, breastfeeding him again. So I don't know what to do. And guys, this is his pajama. It's what he's gonna sleep in. I use this one for him sleeping because I feel like it's a bit uh, way too, too uh, comfy, or let me say uh, size that is. It's bigger in size and uh, the material is also very, very uh, soft cotton. Yep. So let him breastfeed again just a little bit before he can play here and there as he waits for his uh, dinner. And then we got on to make dinner. So my house manager assisted with uh, cutting up and uh, washing the merenda because that is what we are cooking. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just going to assist with the cooking part, just frying and everything. So I have my onions already in another cooking pot. I'm just going to put them on 
Then once the boiling is complete, I'm going to fry it. Oh, guys. Wow. Jesus. Guys, I don't know wh why this happens. What is wrong with my mind? I feel like yawning all the time. You don't want to believe the amount of times I pause my voice of us just to yawn. Anyway, get starting sometimes. So I just do it while I'm on. Apologies. Yes. So I'm going to prepare my onions in another pot so that I can go ahead and fry my merenda. And uh, of course my onions are in the white container. And then the other cooking pot over there that is boiling has my water for uh, uh, the ugali. I only eat my merenda with ugali. I don't eat it with any other thing. Guys, give me suggestions down below in the suggestion box. In the comment section if you eat your merenda with something else rather than ugali. It's yes. midnight. I'm outside. Your car's warm. Did you just get home? I can't drive. I won't cry. Who's inside? I feel so alone. There's only two percent on my phone. Phone, wake your ass up and come answer the door. Door, you don't get to be good when I don't. This is not my first moment. <laughs> And that was my son for you guys. It's what I live with. <laughs> yeah, but I love it a lot because, yeah, it's always so, so jovial and lively. Yeah. So the vegetables were really nice. This is uh, how they looked as we were almost just concluding the cooking process. The ugali is off uh, the jiko. And then we served it, guys. And uh, don't think it tasted bad because it had a lot of soup in it. But... It's alright because I feel like Miranda should be like this because of uh, the oozies. So it has to have soup. And then we went straight on to washing the utensils, guys, the ones we use for uh, uh, eating. And uh, again, like I said, the water scarcity is just so, 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 it's, it's annoying. It's really annoying. It's annoying if my landlord watches this video, guys. I want to tell him to know. <laughs> I want him to know that it's annoying. Okay? Yeah, so I'm washing my utensils from um, uh, the basins. So I'm using the blue one just to scrub and then I'll use the, the the red one to rinse off. Then we'll go ahead and just arrange everything together before we get into uh, the bedroom. It's midnight, I'm outside. Your car's warm. Did you just get home? I can't drive. I won't cry. Who's inside? I feel so alone, alone, and there's only two percent. So this was the outcome, and I only noticed later that I had pegs under the dish rack, uh, which I removed way, way later. Yes, and then I had all the uh, knives, forks, blah, blah, everything on that uh, transparent bucket. I think you can see the pegs that I was talking about, and this is all because I've not been been de cleaning my kitchen i do them over the weekend i didn't have water both saturday and sunday guys a moment of silence for this stressful life look at the sink is not even sparkling clean like i wanted but then i just had water to go over it just once more to i make it look average just clean yes and then guys it's time to get into the bedroom because we are almost sleeping my boys <laughs> Guys, this video, three quarter of my evening is breastfeeding my son. Yes. <laughs> and we changed his clothes again because he stepped on water with the pajamas that we gave him. I don't know where he went because I didn't uh, give him shoes after washing, after the uh, bathing part. So I had to change him again. That's why he has he's in different clothes. So we're just going to do this and maybe play a little bit as we breastfeed. And just before that, I was arranging clothes. As you can see, there's a brown trouser over there on the right side. I couldn't finish because uh, he came into the room and he wanted to breastfeed. Actually, he fell and hit his mouth on the basin. He hit his mouth really bad. He was bleeding. So I had to, 
I had to really pamper him just to let him uh, uh, stop screaming, crying. Yeah. And then I was thinking I could even uh, fold the clothes, just organize the clothes I wanted to organize as I breastfeed him. But it didn't really work. Yes. So we just ended up playing. Uh, yeah, just having more time together. As we wait for him to sleep. And then guys, of course I wanted to edit this video, but I couldn't. Funnily enough, this is the only night when my son wasn't really uh, getting sleepy. Yeah, I don't know the reason, but he took so, so long to sleep. Yeah, so I've had to edit this video in the vi evening, in the morning. That is why you see the introduction is done in the morning, because I didn't finish uh, uh, doing everything uh, regarding filming and editing. It's midnight, I'm outside. Your car's warm, did you just get home? I can't drive. And I took the baby to my house manager because I wanted to uh, just pray. So, yeah, this is what I do. I just sit and, uh, yeah, I say a short prayer. 